welcome. Thanks for joining us. The show presents the National League Division Series. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers going up against the New York Mets. Along with my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shami. And Singy, there's been a lot to talk about already in this series as we head into game four. Well, the number one thing to discuss is just how lopsided this series has been. You know, you get to this point of the season, Bogan, you expect both teams to be on pretty even ground, but it's not played out that way at all. And when a team takes care of business with such dominance and gets out to a 3-0 lead, I just can't see this series lasting much longer. Yeah, that's usually the way it goes. But hey, coming back to win the series has been done before. First pitch coming your way next. First pitch moments away. And on the mound today, Taiwan Walker. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. The one two and that just misses that's excellent location for a pitch like that it looks like it's going to be a strike and then it just runs in on the hands so if you can command it and hitters have to respect it just keep going in there until they make you make an adjustment tapped up the first base side Alonso picks it up the flip to the pitcher covering pitcher gets to the bag for the out Here's Trey Turner. No score, just getting started. Top of the first. Center field. Nimmo sizes this one up. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two down. Two outs, space is empty. And now the veteran third baseman, Justin Turner. The wide to kick the pitch. And now the count filled up three and two. Two down, nobody on. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Dodgers go down quietly. Now the Mets offense will go to work for the first time. No score. Back after this on the show. Bottom of the first. Today's starting pitcher, Tony Gonsolin. Well, there are going to be a lot of balls in play because of the ground ball rate. Important that the defense stays engaged in the game. I think it's critical. Tempo is there. If you work quickly, it helps the fielders behind you to stay engaged, to make those plays, and help you get through the innings. We go to the bottom of the first, and stepping in for New York, Brandon Nimmo. The wind of the pitch. Nimmo. little bit low well he's not afraid to fall into a two strike count knows the strike zone very well so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike if he swings or not and now this one's a rocket to right way back there gone That fires up the home crowd, and just like that, they're out front. It's 
the pitch he wanted to hit, spent on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Starling Marte up to him. Out in front and foul to the left side. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. And he walked him. Now, this was a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. Here's Francisco Lindor. And he deals. In the air, right center field. This is demolished. Way back and gone. Francisco Lindor sends it out, and they add a pair. It's 3-0. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Here's Pete Alonso. Big time power. And the right hander deals. Now a blast to left center. Way back there. On its way. Out of here. Pete Alonso takes him deep, and they add to the lead. It's 4-0. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. That home run was a no-doubter as we dive into the numbers with StatCast. Crushed, they just absolutely crushed. 112 miles per hour on the exit velo, and like you said, no doubt about that one. Plenty of launch angle to give it that backspin as well, and that carried way over the wall. Here's Mark Canna. And the next pitch is way outside. There are lots of pitches thrown in this first inning, and it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching, but you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Fly ball to right. Can't get there. And now maybe extra bases. Throws to second. Tag and he's in there. Stringing them together. That's three hits in a row. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle. Not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. So, man aboard, Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to him. And a foul ball. The pitch. And now it's filled up. Runner leads away at second. Swing and a ball popped up. Turner makes the catch. And there's one down. Batting seven. The designated hitter. Dominic Smith. Dom Smith stands in. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Tapped in front of the play. Gets it to first, and that's an out. And now here's Jeff McNeil. Good contact guy, good defender. And 
the count one and two. Well, he just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Into center. Bellinger gets under it. Brings it in, and the inning is over. We go on to inning number two. It's the Mets four, and the Dodgers nothing. Welcome back. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Next pitch has popped up. McCann makes the play, and there's one away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. And up to the plate is Will Smith. This guy has turned into a beast. And now it's even up. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. One down, base is empty. The other way, and he beats the shift. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. Left-hand batter waits. And now the count, one and two after the swing and the miss. Walker, not a big strikeout guy, but still very effective as far as starting pitchers go. One of those guys that involves the defense and really gets him involved in the action. Next pitch misses. Now two and two. Mike Fillmore, our plate umpire. Very consistent with his zone, Chris. Gets a lot of praise for that. He does, Boog. And I think that with any umpire, you really just want them to be consistent. Fillmore's a guy that does a good job back there in that way. So people around the league really appreciate his consistency. And that one moves his feet. Oh, as a hitter, when a guy like this comes into the game, you feel like he's standing on top of you. And it's just attack mode coming right at you, expecting to get a swing and miss. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Chris Taylor now. On the ground to third, might be two. Over to McNeil. And it's a double play to end the inning. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Mets four and the Dodgers nothing. Welcome back. And here's the catcher, James McCann. One one to McCann. Out to short. Turner collects. Zips it to first. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Now the center fielder. Brandon Nimmo. And next for the Mets, Brandon Nimmo. The solo homer his first time. And the righty deals. Little chopper rolls foul. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Here's a one-two. 
And now two and two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Two out. Here's Starling Marte. He reached out a walk his first time. Marte. The wind and the pitch. Swings and misses. That is the inning. And the Mets go down one, two, three. But they're in front for nothing. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the start of the inning. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Gavin Lux. The 1-1. One, one. Gets the outside corner with that one. The wind of the pitch. And that one wrapped foul. Next pitch has popped up. Calls it in, and there's one away. Boy, that was a hanging, breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. One down. Here comes Cody Bellinger. the pitch stays alive payoff pitch fouled off again and it remains three and two and the pitch that one lifted to left canna flying after this one he can't get there that should be extra bases Bellinger into second, and he's got a double. Just a blue pit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Back to the top of the lineup, and now Mookie Betts. At the belt and fires. Left field, way back there. That one's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Wow, that one almost got out of here. I know the wind's blowing out to left, but man, that almost pushed it over the fence. I bet guys are trying to get the ball up in the air and hit it that direction. I know I would be. Trey Turner at the plate. Turner awaiting a 3-1. And that one sliced foul. Bellinger at second with two down. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Pretty good spot on the outside, but just couldn't quite clip the zone. That's a stone-cold take. Here's Turner now. Lifted in the air, right center field. Marte in position, pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And that will end the inning. Dodgers strand a couple. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score. Back here at City Field, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And the batter will be the shortstop, Francisco Lindor been a rough start on the mound for this guy his third inning so important for him to get on track turn the page settle in do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one and now the count is even that 
one laced to center and a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Now, tough game for him so far, Boog. Another hit, and they've just been knocking him around through the first two plus. He's got to get things back on track. Maybe junk a pitch that isn't working, or he might not last much longer. Man at first, and now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. One for one so far today with a solo homer in his first at bat. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Rudder at first with no outs here. Next offering is foul back. pitch Alonso tries to hold up appeal to first no swing the pitch 3-2 now kicks and fires and a foul ball, he stays alive. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. So, up next for New York, Mark Canna. Canna. No outs, runners at first and second. Chop to the left side. Turner rolls across the diamond. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Two on with one out. Eduardo Escobar, the next to hit. Next offering is in for a strike. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Tyler Anderson, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Here it comes. And it's even up. Right hander kicks deals. In the air, left field down the line. Taylor brings it in. Runner tags for home. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. It's 5-0. Tyler Anderson takes over on the mound. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. Now it's Dominic Smith. Grounded out his first time. Alonso on its second with two down. Anderson ready to work. That one not close. Two and two. The pitch. Good eye right there. Flying drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. Here's the throw to the plate. But it's offline. It's six nothing. 
Well done. Drives in the run. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Jeff McNeil stands in. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Stays alive. Next offering upstairs. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Up the middle. Lux handles the chance. Whips it to first. And that is the inning. Three innings in the books here in game four. It's the Mets six and the Dodgers nothing. Here in Queens, out of the fourth. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. Escobar with the throw to first. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. The batter now will be Will Smith. The 1-1. One -one. And a foul ball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there are two down. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Max Muncy at the dish. The next pitch misses, and yeah, that's ball two. Kicks and deals. And there's the strike. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Next offering upstairs. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. That one ripped. That's back. And that is gone. Max Muncy leaves the yard. And they've got their first run. It's 6-1. They thought he could blow a high fastball by him, but he was ready for it. Look at how quick he jumped on that pitch and now Chris Taylor he hit into a double play his first time up two and two and now it's filled up Righty delivers. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. It's been a little bit of a shaky inning, but he's still in a good spot to get out of this thing without giving up any more runs. He's just got to turn the page and go after this next guy. So two down. Gavin Lux now at the plate. Ball. 
next offering misses two and one well, if he's going to steal second you want him to go early in the count that way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch this one kicks away from McCann Taylor off of first with two away Line drive and a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Here's Cody Bellinger. Next offering is in for a strike. That's inside. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Left hand hitter waits. And a ground ball to first. Alonso takes it himself, inning over, and it could have been worse. Solo shot for the Dodgers this inning. And this is now a 6 1 ball game. Welcome back. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, James McCann. Next one misses. Two balls and a strike. And a pitch. Ball and three. another ball. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. In for a strike. Now it's 3-2. And, and now the lefty. Swing and a ball popped up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One down. Now the center fielder, Brandon Nimmo. So the batting order turns over. And now the center fielder, Brandon Nimmo. One for two with a solo home run back in the first inning. And he deals. And he gets that fastball by him upstairs. Ground ball right side. That's a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Now right here. One down. Starling. Down the number two hitter. Starling Marte. He's 0 for 1. In the air, left field. Marte retired. Two down. And now it's Frankie Lindor. Next pitch has popped up. Turner settles underneath it. Makes the catch. And that is the third out of the inning. Mets leave one. They still lead it though. 6-1. Welcome back. Here's Mookie to hit. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Swing and a base hit. And now it rolls all the way to the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. 
Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Now at the plate, Trey Turner. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. And the right-hander deals. In the air, out to center. Nimmo settles under this one. Balls it in, and there's one away. Here's Justin Turner. Betts over at second, one down. In the air, out towards right center. And puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. And now the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. The pitch. Runner at second, two down. In the air, right field, pretty well struck, and gone! Freddie Freeman bops one out of here. His second home run of the series, and they close the gap. It's 6-3. They needed that one, Singy. Indeed they did. They've been fighting to get back into this game, and just like that, they're back in it. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. New pitcher on now, David Peterson, and he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Well, at this point of the ballgame, we're talking about middle innings, and he need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Two outs, nobody on. Here's the catcher, Will Smith. Next offering is in for a strike. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Third out, and that ends the frame. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. And they've doubled up now. It's 6 3. Bottom of the inning. Here's some real power at the plate. Pete Alonso. to the pitch well struck right field way back there and that one is out of here Pete Alonso with a shot to the opposite field his second home run of the game it's 7-3 singing he's been red hot yeah another big swing of the bat for him man he is really seeing the ball well in this one That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. So digging in, Mark Canna, one for two. Now this one's crushed down the line. Hooking, foul ball. But he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Rip to short. Turner gloves it. Throw off line. He's safe. And a nice job there to keep it from getting away. 
No, that's such a routine play. Probably makes that throw accurately 99 out of 100 times or even better. But that one just got away from him a little bit, and he couldn't stay on the bag at first. So up next, Eduardo Escobar, the switch hitter batting right. So now one and two. And the pitch. That misses. It's two and two. Nobody out. Runner at first. Next pitch downstairs. And the count's full. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. And now the Mets DH, Dominic Smith. First and second here, no outs. Next offering is in for a strike. This is an opportunity to do some damage, but you've got to be selective. Make sure you get a pitch that you can handle. And here it comes. And the one-two misses to even the count. At the belt and fires. Slow roll into first. And it gets by him. Now a long throw home. It's off the mark and he scores. And the lead is up to five. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit. But sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. So they're at the corners now. Jeff McNeil up now for the Mets. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. One away. The catcher, number three, James McCann. Here is James McCann. Escobar, the runner at third. Smith over at first with one away. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Out number two. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. So the lineup flips over. Here's Brandon Nimmo. He's already homered in this game. Next pitch is outside. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Now the 2-1 hammered, but foul. Runners on first and third. Two away. Pitch misses inside, and it's a full count. Two on, two outs. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. There's a swing and a drive. That one back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Five innings complete. It's the Mets eight and the Dodgers three. Top of the sixth inning. And now here's the Dodgers designated hitter, Max Muncy.
one in for a strike, two and two. Movement in the bullpen, Seth Lugo appears to be getting loose. Smith warming up as well. The 2-2. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. So digging in, Chris Taylor. Three one is on the way, and that's ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. And next for LA, Gavin Lux. Really good piece of hitting last time, going to the opposite field. The one two stays alive. Next offering is down low. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Here's a 2-2. And a foul ball. Two two now, and a foul ball. He stays alive. Left hand batter waits. Fouled off. He was late. The two two. Fought off foul. Two two. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you gotta love this battle. Just wondering who's gonna blink first. Two two down. Base knock right for you. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. But when you see that many pitches in it at bat, your chances of succeeding go up. And right there, we see the result. First and second, one out. Cody Bellinger steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And a pitch. And a count one and two. And a swing and a miss. That's the second out. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Here's Mookie now. And the pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. Two outs. Swings here and blasts one left field. That one's carrying. It's gone. Mookie Betts blasts one out. His second homer this series. It's 8-6. Not every home run is a majestic blast off the bat, and even though he hit it pretty well, it was anything but a sure thing to get out. But today, the conditions were right. He got just enough of it, and I think the backspin really helped that thing carry. Now on the bump, Trevor Williams. He's into the game with the bases empty. Trey Turner with a chance now. Right-handed reliever. 
And that one is lifted in the air. Marte makes the catch, and that'll do it. Buki bets with a big strike in the inning. It's now 8-6. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's the right fielder, Starling Marte. The wind of the pitch. And that one fouled off. The one two. That one missed. Well, now that this is a bullpen game, it's clear that whichever bullpen steps up the most is likely going to come away with the W. Next pitch misses, and that's ball three. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. The 3-2 is nope. off ball the ball. outside edge, and that is ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make the call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. Lindor in the box now. No balls and a strike. Out there to center. Bellinger settles underneath it. And there's one away. Marte, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. That's out number two. Now the left fielder, Mark Canna. One for three. Mark Canna. The pitch. That misses, and a count two and one. Kicks and fires. Foul ball there. Anderson checks the runner. Marte dives back in. The pitch. That's to third, and it finds its way through for a hit. Wide throw, and it gets away. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. So two on with two away. And stepping in for New York, Eduardo Escobar. For the fourth time tonight, and that one gets away at the plate, but no advance from the runners. Softly hit to third. To second, Lux. That's the inning. Two left for the Mets. They lead at 8-6. New inning getting started. Here's the third baseman, Justin Turner. Here comes a pitch. The punch out there. One out. A key out to start the seven. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Freddie Freeman. He's already homered here in this one. 
swing and a ball lifted left field. Canna ranging back. And there are two outs. Up next to the Dodgers, the catcher will Two outs, base is empty. And now the catcher comes up to hit. Will Smith. And the righty deals. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. The wind and the pitch. Good eye right there. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Here comes a 3-2. Out towards right center field. Marte drifts towards it and puts the squeeze on that. And that is that. Dodgers down in order. Can't cut into an 8-6 deficit. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. David Price. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now, Dominic Smith. Payoff pitch. Got him looking. And now one away. Now, here is Jeff McNeil. Two one down. And that's downstairs and outside. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Justin Brule looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. The pitch. fly ball out of the left center field Taylor settles under it and makes the catch two down the catcher, number 33, James, McCann. James McCann in now and a pitch Fouled off two and two. And now the count filled up three and two. The wide to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the third out. Inning over. Down in order go the Mets. They lead at eight six. Vino getting the call to the mound, and he'll work on holding this lead. Muncie, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. Two two now. That one pushed to the left and foul. Righty delivers. That one misses, and that's ball three. And 
and there's a foul ball. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him, and... You know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact, but that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. Next to hit, Chris Taylor. The next offering misses. Ball two. Upstairs. And a 3 1 on the way. Back to right. Marte moving back for this one. And there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Gavin Lux. One one now. He swings and fouls one off. Righty to the plate. This to third. Toss to Alonzo. And that'll do it. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. Can't cut into an 8-6 deficit. Ready for the bottom of the eight. And here is Brandon Nimmo. Left-hand hitter waits. On a line, base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. Pulls in with a double. Third hit for him today. Just a great approach. Looked like that was exactly what he wanted to do with that pitch. And right off the bat, he knew he was taking that wide turn at first to head for second. And next for the Mets, Starling Marte. Man at second. Late swing, fouled off. Here's a one-two. Nope. On the ground to the left, Turner picks it up, zips it across. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. The lefty ready and a 1-1. Not the best swing that time from the first round pick. And he deals. And that's outside. Nimmo, the runner at second with one away. Next pitch is downstairs. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. And here's a 3-2. That one the other way. He makes the catch. And there's two down. Now batting. First baseman. Here's a big power threat. Pete Alonzo. The 
pitch. Off the plate inside. Now two balls and a strike. This to third. Sends it across to first. And that takes care of Alonzo. Gets him easily. Ends the inning. Mets strand one. They lead at 8-6. So they turn to Edwin Diaz out of the pen, and he'll feature a hard slider to work off his fastball. We go to the ninth, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Cody Bellinger. The one-two. Stays alive. Here's a one two. And down on strikes. One away. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door, cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. The pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Next pitch inside, and the count's full. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. Late swing, fouled off. Kicks and deals. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Two up, two down. Well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and that this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. Two outs, base is empty. Trey Turner now. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. In an elimination game, you see your season quickly coming to an end. It can be a bit nerve-wracking, but they were able to settle things down, come out and play really good baseball in this one. They get the win, and the series continues. Who knows? Maybe they'll get right back in it. Here's one final look at the line score from this one, Chris. It was a close two-run game, and a couple of key moments just really made the difference. Not much separates these two teams. Final score of 8-6 to six in this one for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Shambi saying so long. the Dodgers.